Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to start barrel racing uh, tack props and rules. And we're going to start with the rules. Now, if you've never seen barrel racing, there's a lot of YouTube videos. I have some of my horse events that I loaded from um, a rodeo I went to in February of 2023. So you can go look at those. Um, and basically you just have a horse and three barrels. They run the pattern against time. And, um, basically the three barrels are in a clover pattern. So horse starts and you can either pick the left or the right, but you like this. And then they got the finish. So that's pretty much what it is. And it's against time. It's always good to pull out the rule book. She probably have done that for dressage, but um, it's a pretty thick book. You can go to the um, FEI website and uh, take a look at the rules there uh, if you want to if you want to learn that. But anyways, I'll do this one here real quick. When you're doing model horses, um, there's certain things that you want to know. You want to know the rules. Uh, you might want to see these rules for other shows. Maybe not, because if you're just going to do the NBHA, which is the National Barrel Horse Association, then you may not care about the world shows. You can just put on your documentation as the NBHA. It's an NBHA show, right? Um, you want to know your penalties or disqualifications, and you want to know your dress code. So I only kept in here um, the pages that you really should look at. Um, and so... First of all, we, I did this, uh, it's an electronically timed event using three identical barrels set in a cloverleaf pattern. Barrels must not be weighted with sand or water and barrels must be metal or plastic and enclosed on both ends. Okay, now the enclosed on both ends we can probably not worry about, um, you know, unless the judge is gonna pick up the barrel and they don't necessarily do that. So that's an important thing to know, okay? Um, contestants must compete using a Western saddle, so you can't you can't do English, you can't do Australian stock saddle, you can't even do side saddle because the, they don't. Um, there's nothing in here that says side saddles allowed, so it must be a Western saddle. And um, there are barrel racing saddles that are lighter; they have uh, less skirts, and and they're designed with a very high seat. I get to that when we get to the patterns. Okay, so here are the things that you don't want in your diorama. You don't want your horse to be off pattern. You don't want to show them knocking the barrel over. Um, you don't want to see them um, running into other horses, which you probably won't because you're going to just be showing them going around a barrel or leaving a barrel or running from a barrel at home or something like that, okay? Um, if the rider falls off, so you can't have a rider that falls off. All right, these are things that in order to show your horse successfully doing this, those rules are very important. Only one horse at a time, so you can't show another horse inside the arena and uh, as a background. Um, and again, missing the pattern or knocking down the barrel, so you don't want to show those things. All right, what else do we have? Uh, I just don't care about that. Um, they can disqualify an uncontrolled horse, so you don't want a horse that's rearing. Now, they can be lunging, but you don't want them rearing or bucking or misbehaving because they can be disqualified. All right, now, there are four competitions. This is really important if you um, want to get creative. Now, I like doing youth and teen. I, I like these. So open is all ages, and those are the, usually the professional ones. But I went to a youth show, and I believe they were 13 to 18 years of age. Uh, but you can do 12 years or younger. I mean, you can do smaller dolls and make it, you know, a little bit more challenging because it's a younger rider, okay? Keep that in mind. And then they also have, um, I love this. Uh, they also have a 50-year, they have a senior division. It's 50 years or older, which didn't show up on that page. Oh, well. All right, now on this page here, um, no abuse. Um, smacking the horse with a popper crop is not abuse. Um, it's the sound when you, and I don't know if you've ever used one, but you can smack yourself and it doesn't really hurt if you're using the popper and the reins don't really hurt either. I've smacked myself with reins They're They just make a noise and that's what the horse runs from. Okay. Um, but any other type of abuse, don't, don't show it. Um, 
Okay, dress codes. To enhance the image of our sport, the NBHA encourages and promotes appropriate Western attire throughout the NBHA sanctioned events. The dress code is mandatory at state, national, super, and world champion, unless otherwise stated. This includes long-sleeved Western full, uh, long-sleeved Western full button, full snapped or full zipped shirt with collar, Western cowboy hat or helmet. Shirt sleeves must be rolled down and buttoned or snapped. Shirt tails must be tucked in. Jackets or coverings may be worn, but the Western attire must exist regardless of cover. Western boots are highly recommended for safety. Okay, so there you go. If you're going to have a rider and also the horse, everything's got to be Western. Um, now, boots, protection, foot protection is um, optional. Um, so that's about it as far as the rules. Pretty simple. Um, because we really only care about one single shot and that means the barrel and the horse doing something entering turning around or leaving a barrel because that's all you're going to get a picture of so thank you for spending time with me today definitely appreciate it like subscribe tell all your friends about the channel and have a really good day